Yo, what's up, what's up? It's me, my name is Elvin. You're back with us for another episode of our Sydney Music Podcast. So, first of all, we're going to start with a shout-out for ourselves. We're going to do a shout-out for episode 0 and uh, technically episode 1 also. So, episode 0, we actually uh, prank call one of our own staff. You can find more of our podcasts on our social media, Facebook, Instagram. I think IGTV has it. YouTube will have it. Uh, eventually, Spotify as well. If it's not there yet, we probably have uploaded it. So, poor guy. Yeah, poor guy. So, um, watch to find out what happened, yeah? So, all right. We're going to get started with today's stuff. All right. So, today is... It's jingle time, man. Uh, you missed the, the, the... Yeah, the thing never maximized. But anyway, it's okay. okay. Today's yeah. topic is we are going to be making a jingle. <laughs> right? So, so far, we've been using the, the, the stock sound, the Zoom LA to start Sounds good. Sounds good. Yeah, yeah, it's quite, quite nice, right? Yeah. So, uh, we're going to do a, a jingle uh, that will start our shows from now on. And today, I have... A very special dear guest with me today, my my manager, yeah. uh, Mr. Mike Mayuni. Oh my, please give it up yeah. for my Mayuni. Oh, I don't have the clapping sound here. This already got people laughing. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay, no, yeah. that works. That's so okay, uh, yeah, thanks, thanks for. By the way, it's nice we have more clap. Then, you know? uh, so yeah, we have. It's just on the other track. Yeah, mm. but anyway, uh, all right. So today we have a uh, thank you for joining us. It's a uh, very nice to have. Mr. Mayuni Oma join us for Thank you. Uh, our session. Uh, he's going to help us with creating a new jingle for mm. our show to start off the thing. Uh, maybe let's uh, have a quick introduction of yourself, Mike. Let us know what do you do, what is what is your history. I think oh, history is yeah. like what the band of for good. Yes. Well, uh, talking about cinema music, I'm already here for more than 25 years. Very uh, nice, yes. Yeah, struggled. I'm a struggled musician from the very beginning. Uh, yeah, I started as a, you know, playing in a, Pub, you know, playing in the hotel lobbies, playing the solo piano, nice. and I playing the band. I was playing in the band called Tokyo Square. Was the last batch of the Tokyo, Tokyo band. Tokyo Square. Square. So it's now become Tokyo Round. I heard that song so much in my childhood. I thought, mm. I you know, when you were playing it, I thought, hey, this this no, nice, I didn't nice compose cover. that, but just part of the band. So yeah, yeah. but okay, never mind. You have to hear it to know what I'm talking about. Okay, he plays yeah. it sometime in the show, and at first I thought it was somebody. So, uh, uh, yeah, you know, I thought he just covered the song. So okay, okay. show us. Oh my god, it's just like a piano <laughs> <player>. <laughs> Yes, this is the song you know. <laughs> Whoa, I need. <laughs> that's the song, right? Yeah, so <laughs> that's, that's the song. That's yeah. what we're talking about. Okay, so yeah, so like, please, sorry, please continue. Yeah, so that's how <laughs> I started in the way back in the early 90s. And then um, I find it like, you know, uh, I was playing also, I was I was playing with uh, uh, the band. And then also one of my singers called uh, Tanya Chua. Uh, she she actually is the one first who actually stepped up from the the band and then she said hey I'm gonna go uh, cr- uh, writing my own stuff and 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 you know going different way not like yes. normal conventional playing in the band kind of music so you know she she's the first one who decided to go out and right yeah she's finding her own music and stuff like that I was like wait quite interesting huh yeah so uh, on top of that I was also trying to do some music for uh, I collaborated with a couple of friends that were spinning in Zouk in that time and uh, yes. some of the Chinese music and they were doing some of the covers doing some remixes and that was the popular part of the time in the 90s in the 90s nice. so this was cool huh? you know uh, and then after that I decided to uh, venture into going into different kind of music so it's just yeah. like music but different kinds of music doing my own stuff I, yes. I started writing actually way back in the teens, but you know, it just go off the shelf and, and uh, decided to just, yeah, okay, why not? Just write something in. Yes, that was yeah. one of the things that we wanted to talk to you about today, which yeah. is your old commercial project. Actually, very often, uh, yeah, so, so Mike is the sales manager here and I'm part of the sales team. So mm. very often I'm talking to my classes about him. I say that um, mm. when they're looking for like keyboards and all that, uh, they need something that they can write music or produce music on their own. Mm. And I usually say that uh, my manager, Mike, he does commercial projects. Oh, yeah. Out of, so, out yeah, out of city like music. Of course, they, yeah, of course, the bosses know we are, I'm yes. doing this. But yep. Of course, on the other extent, we need to know, like, you know, basically, uh, well, I, I, would, I would see that, you know, on top of just what we're doing, you know, whether be it in, in this line of, of, of doing sales in music yes. or whether you're playing music out there, you know, I think there's also opportunity for you to be more creative, not just by playing covers, Yes. Um. I, I think it's it, it helps you diversify your creativities in terms of music. Uh, music as a whole, it basically gives you more uh, opportunity to do business in music, etc. You know that. So, yes. 
that's all what I believe in. Yeah, that's how I become like different, doing different things. Uh, music, as long as there's a term music inside, just do, you know, that kind of feeling. Oh, so, right. yeah. What advice, what advice. Great advice. Yeah, I mean, especially yeah. for the younger generation, it's like, you know, some people may just play the tooch, 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 and then just, why not play some jazz music and, and, you know, create something and make money. Why not? Yes, yeah. and you make money with this. Yeah. Which I think a lot of people right now, they don't, they don't think that it's possible. Yeah, and yeah. also, uh, I got friends who actually work in the bank, you know, play yes. music, but again, they're, some of them actually, not say it all, but a few of them probably dragging their feet to work every day. But for us, I believe yeah. that's how actually we make ourselves feel good because we know that we're you, going to have you, you music. Don't, you don't drag your feet? <laughs> well, once in a while we do, la, you know, because... Uh, we already did. But uh, again, we... Once you hear some nice music, some, hey, you know, sometimes we saw a colleague playing something or customers yes, yes, playing yes, something yes. like, yep. wow, that's a nice tune. You know, we just went outside, you know, we would go outside and just look at them and say, wow, that's quite, quite Every nice. Everyone's all, yeah. One yeah, of them comes in right, and you know. just blow us away yeah, on the right, exactly. keyboards and all that. Yeah. Okay, hmm. so thank you for introduc- uh, introducing yourself. Thank you for uh, yeah inviting okay. me anyway. Yeah, all right. That's, that's so, nice, that's nice. Really yeah, nice. so because of your, your history with uh, commercial projects and that you have mm. done this before, mm. uh, we decided to break out the core Kronos. So mm-hmm. right now, we're just going to talk mm. to you a little bit about what the, we are being, we are using right now to... Then Mike is going to do a commercial jingle for us. Commercial jingle? Yeah, but before, jingle. before I start this, you see, uh, you know, of course, it's like, if I'm going to put this here and I say, hey, definitely Mike is going to hard sell this guy <laughs> and then sort of thing like that. No, uh, I'm just going to a bit long-winded you know, for us to actually, I just want to share with yes, you. Yes, yep. During the early days, uh, I started making my own jingle. I mean, not saying my own jingle, but generally because I, there are people who came, uh, unfortunately, because, um, well, I started because we don't actually get people to come and say, hey, I'll engage you to do a jingle. No, you see, right, those right. days we don't have, the, and then we don't have internet. Those days really no internet. So yes. what we do is basically we, we, we create our own music and then we put on this, this tip called DAT. Okay. And then, and what we did was I never heard that one. Yeah, it's a digital <laughs> audio tape. Okay. And then what we did was actually to go to production houses. Those days, production houses are like big time. Right. You know, and, and uh, places like all uh, this, uh, uh, VHQ, like Stone and many others, we just give the, the, the tape to them and, 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 and pass around uh, and to just let them listen. So this is like a portfolio thingy. Yeah, right. it's yeah. not just on papers on your portfolio, but we have to give their demo so that they hear. Oh, okay, so this is the the capabilities of this guy that's A right, yeah. and this guy B and kind of thing like that. So that's how we started, like selling goreng pisang, you know, in like in a basket and go to. They yeah, just gotta get a name out there. Right? Yeah, yeah, say goreng pisang, you know, goreng yeah. pisang. This is what we do. So that's that's how we get. We we, we you know we work really hard to just get you know into the the scene. So, um, with regards to the jingle, my first jingle that I did was the Reebok. Uh, advertisement that I collaborated with this uh, DJ from Zook called Jonathan. So we collaborated and, and that was my first uh, ever debut uh, jingle for Reebok. And, and that was cool, pretty cool. What was that, Anon? Sorry? What, what uh, instrument you used to create a jingle? Uh, that's a good question. Um, a mixture of uh, okay. well. we have some soft scene. It was um, at the beginning of like soft scene and right, some analog right. scene I'm using the old the real MS-20 yeah okay, that was okay. like the yeah, nice like nice is what yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, but I, I can't afford to have all this equipment so John has this nice amazing equipment so I went to his house and, and, and do all these jingles at his place Very it's nice. pretty nice yeah okay yeah oh, cool so what a long way we have come right now you have you, all these instruments that you just mentioned I think you probably find in there Cross. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's why we're using it right now to, to yeah. run this jingle. Uh. Yeah, and, so and those days also you need to have big space. Yes, yes, yeah. Yeah, you need a very nice, comfortable. Yes, be all around you for all those yeah. bosses to come and sit down and say, "Okay, let's listen to what you have, and and uh, and see what you can come up with, and and blah blah blah." Yeah, yeah. yeah because you know they are the bosses, they so the you need to <laughs> I- impress them with so many things. Yeah, exactly. So it's not easy. Hmm. All right. Yeah, what you are about to listen to or watch is um, a combination of many years of experience. Can I say that? Well, yeah, because yeah. it takes you, it takes you, it took you so many years to be able to do what you do like, like mm. in 10 minutes, which is crazy. Which is crazy. Yeah. But actually, it's, you know, well, for, for those, uh, you know, uh, inspiring musicians out there, yep. see very simple. Uh, I want to realize it's not about the number of years that you, um, that's your experience. It's not about just the number of years that you've been or into the in the industry or so on. It's yeah. about how much you can you can accept uh, the different kinds of music and libraries of music into your head. Yeah. So that it becomes like library. You can just pick and pick and blah 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 choose, and that's how you get your ideas spontaneously. 
Right. So, you know, we have these issues of like, um, oh, I like this music, but I don't like this. I, lo- yeah, I yeah, like yeah. this trash metal, but I don't like jazz. Uh, kind of thing like that. Okay. But what we should be able to, to cultivate in our, ourselves or, or we should encourage ourselves is actually to accept, these, accept uh, all different, different kinds of music. Yeah. And because you have to put in our sense in the brain that, hey, because w- there must be a reason why this guy likes progressive metal. Yeah. Why this guy likes uh, jazz and, and so on. So and, 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 and ethnic music and stuff like that. So yeah. then your, your, your creativity becomes so wide that right. easily yeah. you can just pick Inspired and by many things, right? From exactly. Everywhere. Yeah. 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 Wow. That's life advice. Yeah. Life advice from Mike. I, I got this advice <laughs> from my mentor. Uh, um, I, I, I went through like so many different teachers. And right. in those days, they were, again, there's no internet and all that stuff. So I got this, all this from amazing teachers who um, I learned. Right. Um, yeah. So generally, they give me this, uh, um, uh, so-called uh, uh, inspirational idea, saying that okay, you should listen to a lot of other stuff and not just one one you know direction of music. Cool. Yeah. All right. So Good. for all you musicians out there. Yeah. Okay. So okay. So with that, maybe we will talk a little bit more about the product as well. Mm. So uh, another one of the questions that a lot of my customers ask me. Oh, okay. Uh, regarding this, all right. So, so the Korg Kronos, um, for people who don't know, it is a Korg's flagship synthesizer workstation. Um, mm. It is used to create very uh, complex like songs. Like you can right. do a lot of sequencing. It has very very high quality audio samples. It is Korg's flagship for the synthesizer workstation. So, mm. what is a synthesizer workstation? I get a lot of questions from customers. And what is the difference between a workstation? And a ranger and a digital piano mic, maybe you can enlighten us a little bit. Oh, very good question, actually. Um, yeah, okay, for people who understand the term piano, yes. they, they will know that it, it is an acoustic piano generally, which has 88 keys, which involve like the white keys and the black keys. Like, yes. So the 88 keys of those amazing um, notes. And uh, obviously, piano has very weighted keys. So yes. it's a bit hard to play I mean, because it's heavier. But of course, pianists or people who play the piano, they will understand that they need the kind of uh, dynamics or touch so that they can feel the, the weights and the, the, right. the level of volume. The response, it, yeah. yeah. Response yeah. and dynamics and stuff like that. And of course, um, talking about digital piano nowadays because it's, it's sample, uh, sounds that it's sampled from um, an acoustic instrument, but of course, it's been transformed in the form of... Uh, 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 modeling or DSPs and etc. Yep. That is actually put into a chip and put into a, a keyboard or a digital piano, 88 keys, and, and that's where you get all the different sounds. Right. Uh, generally, also when it's physically, it will look like um, a piano, but of course it, it became it became very small, so it becomes a bit more, uh, uh, you know, Compact, less yeah. big. You know, like the piano, which is quite big and a lot of uh, things you need to consider like maintenance, uh, tuning, yes. and a lot of work. And there's no electricity. But however, on the digital panel, of course, you have to plug into the main power source. And um, so the quality varies of, uh, you know, if you buy if you buy a more expensive one, then you get right. the better sound. So it, it will just... Uh, gives you all the acoustic instruments, especially the acoustic. Yeah, piano. it's a it's a little bit of a, a different instrument. Yeah, so yeah. generally people who buy a digital piano usually they want like an onboard speaker so that when they plug in, they just it's you know, just power sitting in at home and, yeah. and yeah, you have the sound, different. so you don't have Correct. to worry about speakers, external speakers, and all that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, plug and play, so you can play like a real acoustic piano, whereas actually you don't have to worry about all this maintenance and stuff, and you don't worry about space, and it's just nice. And again, it's it's how much you pay for for a better quality sound. That's about it. Right. So that's, a, that's basically digital piano. Now, the very most complicated or so-called confusing part Range. of it is, yeah, is, the, <laughs> yes, it the, is the, yeah. the synthesizer workstation. What's the difference? Synthesizer workstation and uh, ranger. Yes. So what's the difference? Yes. Now, very simple again. So usually all these synthesizer workstation and arranger, they are much more portable, smaller. Right. All right? But synthesizer workstation usually don't come with onboard speakers. Yes. All right? The first yes. thing that we need to know. Synthesizer workstation, they don't come with onboard speakers in. They see them on board speakers. Right. Why? Because they want it to be, they want to focus more on the sounds, the engine inside, which is the sounds and etc. However, the arranger usually has an onboard speaker because it's a one man band. Right. Yeah. All right. A one man band meaning you just find, let's say, a band, uh, maybe a, a rock band. So, you know, it's, it's, you, you just press one button, you have the band, it's there. Yeah, the whole backing track is with you. Yes, this whole backing yeah. track is inside. So, you have lots of backing tracks or backing band inside. There's a variation of different jazz, different rock, different, you know, Latin, 
yes. pop and many more. So you can find all these uh, uh, very nice rhythms uh, or band in, in the Ranger music, uh, Ranger keyboards generally. Cool. Well, of course, you have beautiful sounds and all that. And, and they are very focused on the solo instrument, which is acoustic instruments like flute, strings, violin, uh, piano, uh, uh, what else, trumpet and all that. So they are focused on a very uh, solo instrument because you usually play your melodies on the right hand and the rhythm of the band on the left hand on the chords. So yes. you, your, your left hand will decide to actually move to different progressions of the song. Yeah. Right? Right. Yeah. So on the synthesizer, what is, what is synthesizer? It allows you to synthesize, to sweep, create you know, sounds. Not, yeah. not sanitizer, you know, right? You know, so generally we need that now. Yeah. <laughs> so generally, what it does is basically it's just tweaking it, and then you find it like you know finding the right sound. The reason why it came out to a picture of, of of this synthesizer was it was supposed to actually tweak the sounds using this as, as um, ADSR, you know, and and they 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 wanted to actually make this synthesizer to sound like a piano. Right, but unfortunately, because it's it can never happen by tweaking the sounds, other than sampling or modeling, so they actually created this uh, and, and and produce other kind of sounds, which yeah. is it becomes like an analog scene, like ding, 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 kind of things like that. Yeah. So generally, these are the synthesizers which allows you to change the character of the sounds yeah. to different different kind of sounds. Sometimes I tell my customers that with a synthesizer, you you never really know. What you're gonna get? What yeah. kind of sound you're gonna so get? So it's a yeah. different, yeah. It's a different player altogether. Yeah. You can never get a piano player who will love that kind of synthesis sound because, yeah. you know, it's, it's a a probably one thing. finger player, but you're trying to yes. create some sounds <laughs> like that. So basically, it's a, yeah. you know, so anybody can play a, a, a synthesizer generally because it's how you appreciate the sound. That's what all about. Yeah. What it's all about. Yeah. But however, the workstation is another world actually. That's because the one that we have right here, the Kronos. Yeah, it is so, a um, yeah. yeah, never under underestimate this workstation generally, you know, not just talking about sales, but generally because it has a lot of amazing sounds that you don't have to worry about tweaking and all that. It has already a free spoon feeder with a lot of other sounds. Yeah, yeah. Amazing sound from acoustic, from uh, electronic sounds, and many more. So you have all these amazing sound, thousands of sounds inside. And those are real sampled instruments from the real player from the real yeah. acoustic instruments and etc. And then you, it's, it's actually uh, uh, sampled in and put it into this amazing machine. Now, I'll talk this why they call it workstation is because uh, you're able to actually put them together or record them together and, 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 and make it uh, the wholesome like or wholesome. very nice yeah. orchestration music into one machine. So in other words, for people who actually use computer and software and stuff like that, which is now generally a lot of the youngsters are doing. Yeah. Well, yes, and, and, and generally you need a computer, you need a software, it looks good, wow, it looks so, you know, technology it looks so modern and stuff like that. And but however, you know, when you turn on your keyboard, all right, or, or your, your, sorry, your computer and stuff yeah. like that, you need to turn on your software. Yeah, and you got to load the VSTs and, yes, and, and blah, blah, blah. blah. Yeah. And, and, and it, it takes, you know, some time to actually get everything started. So it takes a long time. So, okay. Yeah, but okay. however, this is like so simple. And you don't have to worry about keyboard and then look at the computer. Keyboard and then look at the computer. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. Because it's, now it's like phew, it's so focused. All right. Amazing. So, yeah. okay. That is, uh, in somewhat of a nutshell, the difference between the synthesizer workstations, digital piano, and arrangers. If you still uh, have some trouble understanding, don't, don't be afraid to come down to the showroom and yeah, just talk to anyone love about to, stuff. Yeah, yeah. we would love to, to help. All right. So we're a little bit pressed for time. Yeah. So right now, we're going to get into the meat of it. We are going to make the jingle right now. Okay, okay, oh, okay. so we're going to start with. Uh, I don't know how do you start. <laughs> let's just uh, go into okay, it. Okay, let's say let's say you are the you are the client and yeah. I am probably. Okay. Okay, I want a jingle want, uh, for my podcast. I know I'm just doing something like just starting out, and I just want something simple, something into the to the lines of this uh, intro that we wrote earlier. <laughs> Okay, I want a different melody. I want uh, a bit of brass instruments and it to be a little bit in a style of funk, right? And maybe a little bit of guitar, I don't know. Okay, if you look at that right just now, right? Okay, yes. it has a little bit of strength on the on the different color on the, on, the, on the front and then it has a different color on the back. Can you just yeah. play back again? And then yeah, okay, let's listen. Okay, so just moving and then this way this ends. So there's two yeah. colors down there. So yes. see, generally, but because it takes more than five seconds, see. Ah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. more than it's like five seconds. But if you button. want to get something which is fast, like easy you know, so people to can, can 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 immediately get the response, right? You know, yeah. it's like five seconds, like. Yeah. It's five seconds really. 
Okay. So that's like something you want to go shorter and then, but yet, kick that punch. So yes. you know, you want to be like something like uh, okay. uh, simple as. Okay, that that resolves the good. So it depends on okay, now you have the melody. So first come with the ideas of like what you want to right, right. you know, the main make melody. It, it yeah, ideas everything. and all that. Yeah. So usually uh, after that you think of instruments and what you want to do it okay. or how to do it. In 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 in, in certain extent, okay. I, I give you some example of of, of, of I'm not trying to be long with it, but again, there are people who are actually using um uh, loops here. <laughs> So so can I feel it? Yeah, you feel something like that. But also, I on other extents like okay, you can because all these are generally you can you know drag and drop loops and then you put it on top of it you know if you want to. Yeah. So but again, uh, you can do that here, but it will take some time for me to load samples and that. But if you have a computer, generally, or the advantage of the computer because there are so many loops, you can you can drag and drop. Drag and drop, and then what you do is you add the melody inside. So these are some of the things that you might want to consider when you know you want to get it more more electronic sounding or a little bit more groovy. Um, these drums or loops that you get from this uh, drag and drop loops are amazing that you can actually get right, ideas. Yeah. The Ableton ones are amazing. I use that at home. Yeah, yeah so these are the good, things. Yeah. Uh, but again, of course, uh, by just drag and drop, it may not sound you, you see? So you yeah, may yeah. need to add on ideas like, for example, brass and all that stuff. Yep. Which, okay. Okay, it sounds Let's like a brass now. Different melody. Different melody. You don't like, don't like, run the funk. Okay, the client say they don't funk. Then, what do you want? One funk, but different melody. Ah, different melody. Different melody. Good enough. Okay, Is that a good enough melody? Yeah. yeah, that one's nice. What you just did. Alright, man. I'm feeling it. Nice. Can we sing to it? Okay, so I do I do the first line first. <laughs> yeah, let's do that. Three, four. One, two, three, four. Oops, sorry. We can do it again. One, two, three, four. Yeah, you can leave it then. Alright. So For anyone see. who's not watching the video, Mike is doing this live. We did not prepare any right. of this. It's right. all happening okay, right I'm now in front of my eyeballs. Alright. <laughs> okay. And the lower one. I got done. Yeah, I'm going to do the top one. <laughs> okay, one time. I'm just going to do it. Layer, just yeah. layer, you know. So you hear the attack. Bam, bam, on top. Okay, okay nice. so I'm done with the brass. So what I can do is I can add the bass line. So we're going to add the bass line. Three, four. Uh, that has a bit of a like a game music feel to it, man. Oh, I love all it. right. So you, you can add on, like, say, for example, I want a um, little bit of that, uh, um, you know, kind of Fender Roots kind of feel. Yes, E piano. Give me my E piano, man. Oh. If you want to know the chords that he's using, you gotta come around and talk to him in person. Oh. Two, three, four. All right. I love it already. Here comes the drums, man. Yeah. So you can add drums if you want to. It's so exciting. Here you go. Is there anything else that we need? You can add percussion if you want to. Yes, so we need. You're saying? Uh, we need MS20. MS20. Oh, the kind of lead sound. Ah, uh, synth. Give me a little bit of the 80s vibe. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> okay, so man. Add, like... Nothing like a little bit of the 80s vibe, man. One, two, you may vocal though. So I'm just gonna add a lead sound. <laughs> Tonight. <laughs> oh. Uh, oh yeah, man. Oh, you can, you, if not, you can if not pulling in the lead also, man. You can do that. Nice. So Mike, right now, he's actually auditioning the ins yeah. different instruments on the Kronos. 
Okay, you can just do that. So I can just bring down the instrument so you can All hear right. clearly more of the uh, By the way, we're running the Kronos straight into the Zoom L8. Yeah, so yeah. all the instruments that you're hearing is just direct yeah. input. Wow, that was crazy. Too much? Too intense, bro. Yeah. Oh. Oh, how intense? You feel too many things, huh? <laughs> oh, okay, see, that's why right. we need to... Need to hear the yeah, demo, the sounds and stuff. Okay. okay. So you can, you can adjust uh, whatever you want to be loud and to be soft. And, and okay, bring down the, the piano. Yeah, you know. Oh, yeah, man. Too much? Okay, then okay. we go. Okay. Very nice. Is that nice? All right, man. What? No, lower down. Okay. Yeah, softer. Yeah. It's a bit too much 80s. Okay. A bit too much. <laughs> What's that? My bullet. We become bullet. We're slowly becoming 80s. Uh. <laughs> so it's like. Uh, <laughs> Two eighties tomorrow. I come work got afro. Eh. Uh, what do you guys think? What do you guys think? We have some of the our stuff behind the camera. Like okay, like an ending chord, right? Like an ending chord. Oh, come out onto something. We hear a little bit of that. Give me like a, a okay. complex chord that like people don't understand. Right? <laughs> like, act, act like we them like pro in the chords. Okay. Let me see if I. Okay. Here you go. Okay. I was just talking to Mike the other day about these kind of chords. It sounds like a. Like cheese is hard to appreciate. Oh, listen to that, man. That's like that's like cheese. Eh. It's like it's so off, but it still hits the spot. You know what I mean? It's like it's a quiet taste, ah. You gotta know like your cheese, then you you know what this is. Ah. Yo, what's up, everybody? Welcome to the city. Okay, <laughs> that, sounds, that sounds that sounds that sounds great, man. Man. Yeah, I just got that cup of coffee, that kind of vibes. So the Eleven, challenge man. is usually right if you if you're doing for for a client is like you are able to do it. Yeah, 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 that's, yeah, that's yeah. the challenge because yes. you know you might be good, but again you have to you have to have all these libraries. This is why I mentioned the yeah, libraries yeah. that allows you to help you to actually do the changes and all that. So there's something that you need to work on and, and very nice. Yeah, yeah. So in in like practically ten minutes or eight minutes rather, we started at the twenty minute mark mm. and now we are at twenty eight minutes. And then we already have a commercial yeah, jingle. It's pretty mad. This one is for the intro, right? Yeah, this one is for the intro. So we, we just need a new... Uh, okay, our clients behind the camera now wants an outro as well. Okay, what so, kind of feeling? Uh, versus... versus <laughs> 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 reverse the melody. Okay, uh, how much I can I pay here? <laughs> uh, let's say the guy decides to pay you like, uh, hey, give me bundle price. Uh. Yeah, which usually now you get that kind of uh, those days uh, they don't they don't they don't, they don't do, do that. that uh. Uh. And you see you don't tell them that you can do like within like few split minutes and, and, yes, and yes. hours and just tell oh you're gonna take a long time oh, for me to get whoa trade and secrets, then, uh, trade secrets Yeah, right, trade yeah. secrets uh, but nowadays you know like drag and drop. So that's why everything yes. or even the money that you get also getting very less and less and less and less less. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's a that's a pretty good one. Oh, you need yeah. to save yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so um maybe on the next podcast you will hear that is the other song already. Yeah. Can we hear no. it again? Oh, sure. Let's go it. All right. How's it you going? Like it? You, like it? you like it? You like it? Yeah, I love it, man. Yeah. Love it, love it. Okay, so that's it. Right. That's the new jingle. We just did it in eight minutes. That's amazing. You know, you still can you can clean up, you know, put a lot of other stuff and then you know. You can go crazy. You can go crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Because with this guy, right, you can also put a microphone inside. You can put a guitar inside. Yeah. And you can put live music inside and do so much more. Tonight. Yeah, we can do the Bruno Mars thing. Like the vo- yeah. vocoder, vocoder thing. Idea. We'll do that maybe tomorrow because right now it's 7.05 already. Yeah, OT, five to, minutes already. Yeah, it's yeah. time to end this one. So, um, we're going to see... Hmm? What was it? Outro from here. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Let's do the outro from here. So, not yet. Not yet. Okay, okay so... <laughs> Uh, 
yeah, we uh, we are done with this uh, second episode. Um, mm. So uh, we we'll see you guys on the next one. Keep a lookout. We're gonna try and keep this going. Um, if you guys yeah. have any idea what you wanna hear us talk about, any other things, any suggestion, if you wanna see Mike again, let yeah, us know. Yeah. If you wanna see let Mike do know. this again yeah. with without his it shirt, doesn't have let to us be, know. Doesn't have to be me, me, yeah. me, me. See, because basically we have other, you know, anybody, players, like anybody, yeah, know, whatever you wanna yeah. see, let us know. Yeah, right? No worries. And but if you want to know more about sins and all that, yeah, you can yeah. just ask me. We I'll can do let another one as much as we can. Okay. Awesome. Run the outro. Yes, it's the ending. See you guys, man. Yeah. Take care. Yeah.